Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and welcome to this uh, first part on how to create a journal yearbook and uh, you can also use it for a mini album and um, I will start to share uh, some things that we are going to use so you don't need it all if you don't want to follow exactly how to make it you can just take out some pages and uh, uh, create your own style but um, I had a lot of requests what I use to um, my fussy cutting and I use this uh, Claudine Helmut Studio Multimat and that's for these fuss fussy cutting pieces so they get a bit stiff and uh, uh, yeah they will last longer and uh, I also think it creates a more depth to them so uh, yeah so and you also will need some 3d foam and a ruler and you need some scissors and here I have a scotch titanium long stick scissor and I have a little embroidery scissor and this is from Kai and I have also this scissor this I use most when I fussy cut and it's uh, open so it's not so hard for your hands so uh, and uh, a lot of people have asked the name of it and I didn't know and then I discovered it says inside here spring cut but I know that uh, Fiskars also have one so that's that and we are going to need a craft knife and uh, I also will use this uh, knives here and uh, if you are a child and looking at this please be careful these are really sharp and uh, ask an adult to help you and um, we need some strong um, thread a needle and a marker that's to go around the fussy cut on the pages and also uh, uh, what do you call this <laughs> yeah it's a thin, thin marker pen <laughs> and uh, we're also going to use some corners you don't have to use this this is from Kortogot it's a Norwegian company but I know it's a lot of companies who sells these corners and you can cut them out yourself if you have a die and we are going to use some magnets the large one and the small ones and these are from basic ray so I run out of them and I ordered some new so I hope they will arrive soon and we are also going to need some of these and now I forgot to look at the name for this as well but you can see what they are in two different sizes like so and um, we are going to use a punch and you don't have to use this if you don't have any one and um, these are the Tivik envelopes and I use this a lot of uh, uh, of these in my projects for binding and these are really strong and this idea I got from Katiorta Katiorta <laughs> I hope I pronounce it right and she's a paper phenomenon and uh, I will post the link to her uh, um, channel below she has uh, so many great ideas and uh, creations and we are going to use some medium weight chipboard and some brown paper here are my leftovers and uh, try to take it close up it's a basil basic paper uh, suede brown dark so I think this is a great paper to use it's very strong and we are going to use uh, the ladies diary uh, 12 by 12 and 8 by 8 and also some of the sticker sheets you see I have taken out some already and also for the letters here and maybe uh, 
use some of this. It's also from the paper collection. And we are going to use a scoring board. And um, I like to use this round tip here. It's an embossing tool. The tip is uh, really small. It doesn't tear the paper so much. Uh, this, I think, when you use this type of uh, scoring tool, it tears the paper more easy. So that's that. And I use some clamps to fasten the paper so it will glue good down. And this I bought in a um, hardware store and also for a car uh, supply store has this. These are from the car supply stores and these are from a hardware store here in Norway. And uh, we are going to use some tape and uh, some glue. I use a scotch quick dry adhesive. And uh, we are going to use this distressed uh, stain, vintage photo. And uh, this um, paint from uh, uh, Claudine Halmut Studio. So, but if you have other types, you uh, use what you have. You don't have to have exactly what I showed you. It's just to give you a tip of some things you can use. So I will move this away and we will start to um, to make uh, the cover binding for the album. So here are the uh, shipboard we are going to use and I have cut them out. And we are going to use uh, three of these. And it's nine and three quarter by five and three quarter. And uh, if you don't want to make the flap on the front, you can use only two of these. And then it's one strip and that's nine by one and five eight. And this is uh, for the binding, um, for the thread binding. So this is a bit smaller and that's because uh, the pages won't slide. And on the back there we are going to use this piece and it's uh, 9 and 3 quarter by 1 and 5 8. And um, here is one other strip we are going to use for the other side flap. And it's 9 and 3 quarter by 1 and half. And for the flap that's going to go inside the book it's 9 and 3 quarter by five and a half. So we'll now start to assemble this. So I think we take the flap on the front last and we will start with this once. So I will just lay them out so I do it right myself, like so. And uh, here are the uh, envelopes that I cut out in stripes of two inches. And uh, I just measured how high I want to have them. So the, uh, these are most of them nine and three quarter, but two of them are nine inches. So I will show you that. And I back them with the uh, Exeron glue on the back. Uh, did I say it was two inches wide? Yeah. <laughs> and I scored it in the middle here. And I also have a two without glue on because I'm going to show you you can use um, the quick try as well. So we will start with uh, these two here. And then I'm going to use this side here. And I already take on some <laughs> magnets, but I will show you that later. Perhaps I have to take them off when I take the envelope off. On. We have to see. But uh, this one I want to go up one quarter and leave a half an inch on the top and I just eyeball it. And uh, perhaps it can help you with a ruler to get it all straight but uh, I will show you that. So then we will start with a short piece here. So Bend it in two like so. 
now I have to take off my glasses <laughs> to see myself. And we're going to try to line it up. Hope I'm in frame here. So. And we have to have it close up so I can see. Like so. So now it should look like this. And now we are going to line this up here, quarter from the bottom here, and a half an inch, inch there. So it doesn't have to be exact. And we flip this over, like so. And the ba back piece we are going to take on later. So. Now we are going to take the next one on, off, on here <laughs> and then we use a short strip again. If you have the extra on it's really fast and easy to do. So now we try to line up here. So I usually just eyeball it, but I can show you a help trick here. You take a ruler or if you have a craft mat or something, so you can line it up like so. So it gets straight. Then I take the other side. It's harder for me to do it this way, <laughs> so that it's helpful if you are new to scrapbooking. So we we'll place this over here. So this is the book, like so. So now we are going to create the flap, and that we need a spine here as well. So we are going to take a long strip here. And I find it most easy to take it on this loose piece first. This I see I've got too long so I have to cut it off. These non-stick uh, scissors are really great because it slips easy, the glue. And there are many different scissors with a non-stick. So now we're going to line this up here. And again you can use your ruler but here you can see that it's straight. piece here. Hmm. I measured them all a uh, half an or an inch too long. If you overlap here, it doesn't matter. So now this will go on here. 
be sure that they meet in the top and uh, book is going to close like so and this will overflap here with these magnets but I also want one on the top here that's going to go this way so that we are going to glue on here but if I glue it, this together I have no place inside um, uh, for papers it will be um, um, <laughs> um, hard to close so I think I have to take off these magnets and glue them on back later because this I decided in the last minute that I want a flap here as well so we are going to I have uh, glued two strips of uh, this same chipboard together and this we are going to take in the middle, like so. And that's just to help um, um, to get a bit uh, room here. So I will now show you with the glue. To glue them on. This is not the one. So we're going to take the glue on here. this over. Like so. This is dry enough, so we are going to take it back again and take out this. And now you see here we created some room here, so now we can glue on the other flap. Now I'll just take glue on this here. And smear this out with your fingers if you like to but when you press it it will uh, be glue overall a bit before I am um, take on the others here so I can show you a bit here what I'm going to use on all the edges I will use um, this distress stain 
and uh, it's uh, from a rancher in its photo and I will go around all the edges and also here and uh, I don't think it's good enough from here maybe I have to see but uh, here's where the paint comes in and um, I like to use my fingers <laughs> so you just have to paint in the middle and on the top here so uh, I won't do this in the camera it takes so <laughs> long for you to watch so I will show you when I've done it like so just smear it out but of course you can use a pencil but I like to get a bit dirty <laughs> The only problem is if you're going to go out, it <laughs> can be hard to get off. So and you see, I'm a bit on the outside here, but that we just cut off like so. And there it's see the whole book. This is going to go this way and this is the front side and this is going to go inside like so. So now we are going to take on um, the rest of these but uh, before we do that uh, we need this on the back but uh, this we can't glue down before um, uh, we have taken the pages inside but we are going to use some hinges here to uh, help uh, stopping um, uh, the papers to slide out so we are going to glue them out on and the way I make these I take uh, the rest of my paper when I have leftovers and I score every 3 8 of an inch and then I just cut like so, all the way, and then you have your hinges. And I also like to round my corners, and I use a corner punch for this, like so. But if you don't have it, you can use your scissor, and just round the corner. So it won't show up, so it doesn't matter. So now I have to be sure I glue it on the right. <laughs> this is going to go in. Yeah. Then we are going to glue it on this here. That's the short, you see, here. use uh, a score type if you like to. But I just take this for now. And yes, I've made them too long. <laughs> I forgot it was only nine inch. So I take the glue off. So now I make the mistakes so you do don't have to do them. a bit here. Then we take the other one as well and the same. So just we'll round them all together fast here. Like so. So we try one more time. You can take on after you have uh, uh, bind your pages, but I think it helps uh, pages not to slide out. So for me, it's most easy to do it this way. And uh, it's also better to paint uh, under here first. You see here, but I will try to make that uh, paint that after. So, 
or perhaps it won't show up <laughs> when we take this on. So <laughs> forget what I said. <laughs> so. We try to line it up all the way to the end here. Like so. So after this is going to go on top here with um, this over, that, that we will wait with. But we are going to do this side here. And now it's important that you don't glue it down like so, because then it won't bend over. So we have to do it like so. tripod in the way so I have to stick my arms inside like so. So if you bend it uh, 90 degree or something over. Over, but that you have to be, I have to be like that so it can fold. And now for the other side, one more strip. And I think I cut it off first, easier. forgot myself I was about to glue it down but we have to create an angle here like so so you can see. So here is where the pages are going to go and this is flap over like so and close here like so and it opens this way and here are the hinges for the binding. So uh, this was the first episode and the uh, next episode we are going to take some papers inside here and uh, we see how far we go if uh, we start on the pages or we have to see so the videos don't be so very long. So um, I hope you will try this and uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, wish you all a happy and a good day. Bye bye.